Reese, and I'm here in the beautiful country of Georgia to present to you the Galileo Summer Vlog. Do you know what a parkour challenge is? Let's check out this video that's edited by Atticus and see what it is. Whoa, those are some seriously sweet moves. And I also really love the editing. That was super cool. What's next? Let's step into nature and check out Tara's flower video. Isn't it pretty? Do you think so? Imagine a world without any flowers. Flowers? The bloom? No. The, they evolved in 130 million years ago. If there were no flowers, then it means no fruits. No fruits, but no seeds. 130 million years ago, there was no honey, there was no nectar, no discipline. No butterflies, no bees, not even any mammal even. Let me show you the insides of this hibiscus flower. I'm going to dissect this flower and show you all the different parts of the flower. Flowers have nectar in them. Bees, butterflies and birds come to drink it. They go from flower to flower drinking nectar. When they are flitting from flower to flower, they pass pollen from one to another. That's called pollination. After pollination, the flower wilts and the ovary becomes the fruit and holds seeds. Birds and animals eat the fruit and disperse the seeds far away from the mother plant. And that's the life cycle of a plant. Wow, I learned a lot from that, Tara. Thank you. Let's stay in nature for a bit longer and check out Elin's video on birds. Many people that visit this valley in southern Portugal 
failed to realize how diverse the wildlife actually is with it being so close to a town. Specifically, I'm going to be talking about bird ringing. So bird ringing is when you catch birds to record data on them so you know the population and you know a little bit more about how they're doing. So we use these nets to catch the birds and then once they've been caught in the nets, we'll record their wing size, their weight and other information about them. The ring is just a small metal band that is put onto the bird's leg, which does not affect the bird. Or about the bird from its feathers, like you could tell how old it is, does it have eggs or not, and other information like that. 22 rings to the end of this series. This is a different bird, it's an adult bird. And you look at in the in that site I tell you, the mm -hmm. central feathers and the out feather. She had these ones are old from the, the year before when she comes from nest, so she uh, born in, in 2020. All the birds were safely released. They are normally safely released and a lot of them go straight back to their nests because the time of year they are caught, they'll be on eggs. So they'll all be fine. Thank you for watching. That was a really interesting documentary. Summer is often really hot. Well, I mean, it's really hot where I live right now. So that makes for a perfect time to make lemonade. Let's check out Uma's video on how to make it in three simple ingredients. Are going to be making easy three ingredient lemonade and this is a much healthier version of the lemonade that you might get in stores so what you're gonna need is you're going to need a spoon any spoon is fine I'm just using like a teaspoon here a cup of ice cold water some lemon juice about two tablespoons and some agave. You can use any agave. Right now I'm just using some Kirkland Organic Blue Agave. And this is the type of recipe where you have to put stuff in and then you got to try it and adjust it to your own taste. Um, so what we're going to start off doing is we're going to start off by putting some lemon juice in our water. So I just put about probably about a tablespoon in there. And then along with that, I'm gonna add agave. Now agave is our sweetener instead of sugar. And it tastes exactly the same. It tastes better, it tastes fresher. And it's much healthier for you. So I just put some agave in. And so here is the spoon's roll. You're just gonna mix it. And then you can just try it a little bit. Definitely needs more agave, a little bit more lemon. So, because right now it kind of tastes like lemon water. <laughs> so, I'm gonna add some lemon. See, like I'm literally just playing around, not playing around, but just adding it to my taste. That should be enough agave. And we just mix it all together. And now try it. It's good, really good. Add a tiny bit more lemon. Mm, no, no, it's perfect. Uh -uh. So that's it. That's it. It just took like three minutes, less than that. And you have a nice cold, Healthy, homemade, three ingredient lemonade.
Thank you for watching. Make sure to like and subscribe and hit the notification button down below and we'll see you in our next video. I think I'll try that recipe soon. Thanks, Uma. Do you like dogs? Do you have a dog but you don't know how to train it? Let's check out Hamsa's video for some tips. Hunt gatherers uh, settle after they settle down in one place. They started breeding domestic animals, and dogs were one of them. And dogs uh, evolved from coyotes, wolves, and jackals and wolves our five months old puppy and now i'm going to teach him a few tricks good boy amen good boy there is a treat good boy Good boy, stay. Okay. Sit. Sit. Okay. Good boy, go. I always ask uh, my uh, and our dog to sit down uh, before giving him um, the meal, and I do like um, uh, SIT uh, or S H A K E uh, that kind of thing. Awesome tips, Samsa. Summer is also a great time for outdoor sports like soccer or football, whichever you call it. And Kian has some tips for how to play soccer or football, whichever you call it. The rainbow flick is very easy to do and it's very effective. All you need to do is with whatever foot you're used to playing with, you're going to roll it up the side of your leg and then flip that leg upward. Therefore, the ball will go around your head and land right in front of you. The elastico is just as easy if you practice it long enough. So what you're going to do is kick the ball sideways, not too far away and not too hard, just enough so you have speed and agility to, to put your foot around the ball as quickly as possible and kick it forwards. So therefore, it will go through the opponent's legs or around them. Speed elastic is very similar. All you're going to do is kind of the opposite. With the outside of your foot, you're going to kick it forwards and then as quickly as possible, you're going to turn your foot the opposite. It goes in the opposite direction. I'll have to go try them sometime. That's it for the Galileo Summer Vlog 2021. Thanks for watching this video and I hope you enjoyed it. Bye, see you soon.